Hi students, in this video, we will guide you about the important formulas of unit number 15 and 16. If you ask me about the weightage of these two units in CMA part one exam, minimum 15 to 20 questions you can expect from these two units. So usually students are little bit slow in this C unit because of a lot of formulas. So we will guide you how you can write your own formulas. Uh, we will guide you about the simple trick, how to memorize the formulas. And this video can be very helpful for you when you are going to start the practice questions or whenever you are going for the exams. So this quick overview can give you the quick revision about the unit number 15 and 16. So the first thing we have in this unit, it's regarding the static budget. You know, the formula for static budget we have, budgeted quantity into budgeted price. Like this is the budget which you are preparing at start of the year, it's for one quantity, static budget, I mean for one level of activity, this budget we are preparing and quantity plus price both are budgeted for us so this one we will give number one equation second one we have flexible budget like we prepared the budget say for ten thousand units which is for one level of activity but in actual there is a possibility that actual activity will be eleven thousand twelve thousand or even it can be 9,000 as well. So the main purpose to prepare the flexible budget, we want to know that as per our standard, how much cost we were allowed to spend at the level of 12,000 units. So this is the reason we prepare flexible budget. What's the formula actual quantity into budgeted price? Like only the change is coming related to the quantity. Correct. So this equation I am giving equation number two name. Third one students, we have actual results, actual quantity into actual price. So these three important things you have to keep in mind. Based on this one, you can make the static budget variance formula, flexible budget variance formula, and sales volume variance as well. So now static budget variance is the difference of actual results and static budget, the difference of actual results and static budget give us static budget variance. In short, you can write it like that for your better memorization purpose. Number three minus number one will give you static budget variance. After that, for students, we have flexible budget variance. Flexible budget variance, we will calculate the difference of actual results. The difference of actual results and flexible budget will give you flexible budget variance. So here also you can memorize like that the difference of number three and two will give you flexible budget variance. Last one students, we have sales volume variance. That is the difference of number three and one, the difference between, sorry here, the difference you have to take this little correction here. Flexible budget minus static budget, it's mean two minus one. For your better understanding purpose, you can do two minus one. So like that, you can have sales volume variance formula, flexible budget minus static budget. Correct. So the next one students we have, once we completed this one, the next level of variances we have for direct materials, flexible budget variance. Here you have to deal with two kinds of variances, direct material price variance, and direct material quantity varies. It's very easy to keep in mind the difference of price. Like if it's a price variance, you will take the difference of price multiplied by actual quantity. Very simple to keep in mind. 
the difference of price multiplied by actual quantity. Actual quantity, how we calculate actual quantity into actual usage per unit, we will have our actual quantity. This is actual actually production, actual production quantity multiply by actual usage per unit like that you will have the actual quantity better you write it as actual production this is actual production in the same way students we can look for the formulas of material quantity variance where actual quantity minus standard quantity into standard price when we have the quantity variance we are taking the difference of quantities when we have the price variance we are taking the difference of price so here also how we calculate the standard quantity standard quantity is equal to actual production into standard usage per unit we will have the standard quantity move to the next one students after this one we have the direct labor flexible budget variance good thing you don't need to memorize another formula for direct labor rate variances it is the same formula the way we did the formula for direct material price variance so the difference of price it's actually the price we count here wage rate the wage rate which you are paying to the labor actual wage rate minus standard wage rate into actual quantity actual quantity we calculate in the same way the way we calculate it in material price variance after that concerns we have direct labor efficiency variance in efficiency variance you take the difference of quantity here quantity means the quantity of hours how many hours it is taking to produce multiply by a standard price you will have direct labor efficiency variance next one students we have mix and yield variance sometimes we are using the mixture of various materials say in order to produce one product you are using three four different materials say normal mix is material a b and c but C is not available as a result of that you have to use the alternative material which is D. Now the revised mix will be A, B and D. So possibility is there D will use in different quantity or the price difference can come. So because of price the cost difference will come for that purpose we use material mix variance where we have standard mix standard price minus actual mix standard price into actual total quantity while for the yield variance it, it is arising because of using different quantity like d is the substitute so as we will use the d so there is a possibility we will use less or more quantity as a result of that overall quality the quantity can change so this is the reason here difference of quantity multiply by standard make standard price after that one student same kind of formulas for the labor mix and labor yield variance same formulas when we will use the different combination of labor to get our things done next one students we have overhead variances in overhead variances uh, first of all we have to discuss variable overhead variances the first category we have spending variance. Spending variance arise whenever we do more spending as compared to our budgeted rate or less spending. So this is the difference between rate, actual rate minus standard rate into actual allocation basis. Say you calculated your application rate based on, remember the formula for application rate estimated overhead dividing by estimated allocation base so say your rate was 11 10 dollar but actually you you spent 11 dollar per machine hour say assume that in this case your allocation base is machine hours correct so whenever this situation will be there we will have spending variance unfavorable 
So the difference of rates need to multiply with actual allocation basis, like how many machine hours we use. Next one, we have variable overhead efficiency variance. Here we take the difference of quantity, like if machine hours we are using as allocation basis. So we will take the difference between actual machine hours and standard machine hours multiplied by standard rate. Like that, you will have the variable overhead efficiency variance. Next one, students, we have fixed overhead variances. Fixed overhead variances, uh, we have two kinds of variances. One of the variance we call spending variance, which is the difference between actual fixed overhead and budgeted fixed overhead. How we get the actual fixed overhead? Actual production into actual rate will give us actual fixed overhead. Budgeted fixed overhead will give us budgeted quantity into budgeted price. Like that, we will have the budgeted fixed overhead. Next one, we have fixed overhead production volume variance. You know that it's arise because of underutilization of capacity or over overutilization. Budgeted fixed overhead minus applied fixed overhead. How we get applied fixed overhead? Actual production into applied rate. We will have our applied fixed overhead. Sales variance is runs. Simple one, we will discuss here two kinds of sale variances. One of, one of them is price, another of them is quantity variance. Price variance arises because of charging more or less price as compared to our budget price. So the difference of prices multiplied by actual quantity, we will have sales price variance. Quantity variance, difference of quantities multiplied by standard contribution margin per unit will give us sales quantity base. Correct, students. These are the possible formulas which we discussed with you for unit number 15. In unit number 16, you know that uh, we don't have too many numericals. So the main formula we use for return on investment. Return on investment, we have the formula income of business unit dividing by assets of business unit. So here, students, you have to use EBIT here, earning before interest and tax. Same thing for residual income. Here you use income of business units. Here also you use EBIT minus assets of business units into required rate of person. So students, these are the possible formulas which you have to keep in mind for unit number 15 and 16. Thank you very much.